Hey guys, so if you hear that noise in the background, it's just the uh, dishwasher running because totally forgot for like three days. Like I kept saying I have to wash the dishes, I have to wash the dishes. And I was like hoping that my brother and my dad would remember, but then they f didn't even check up on the dishes either because we were mainly eating like Wendy's and McDonald's. So there wasn't any dishes to wash. So when I went and looked, it was like full. So now I'm washing them on my day off. So yeah. So I bought some stuff from Curry's and I forgot to do a haul video about them. So let's just get started. I mainly went there to buy a lot of these uh, calligraphy pens that I use. So I have bought like a whole bunch. I actually spent quite a bit just for them because I bought a whole bunch. Um, they are really cheap. They're like, um, what are they? They're like $4.49 each, which isn't that which isn't expensive at all. Um, it's just that I bought a whole bunch and ended up spending like $42. Um, so yeah. So first off, I'm just going to show these special things that I bought that I will be trying out. They're new to me, so I haven't really, I don't know how to use them yet. So I actually bought fountain pens, which are like calligraphy pens. Um, this one is a manuscript. Uh, that's the, uh, what was it? That's the um, brand for it. And there was a whole bunch of different ones. There was really expensive kits that were like starting kits too. So if you're new to calligraphy as well, you could use those. And this one's just a beginner set. It comes with like three different sizes. And it says right here, like 0 0.85 millimeters, 1.1 millimeter, and 1.6 millimeter. So there's three sizes for the tips. It comes with a cap and uh, one extra inked and there's an ink inside i believe already because it says two ink so yeah um this one was <coughs> 13 dollars it was the cheapest one so that's why i bought it since anyways i was thinking i'm just starting off i don't want to buy something that has so many things and then mess up and, or maybe i decide i'm not going to use it that often and stuff like that so i just went ahead and bought the cheapest one and yeah um the good thing about this though is that like it comes with like these ink packs so it's not like you have to dip it in to like a uh, ink like a bottle of ink which they do sell and then they do sell like the standard ones where it's just like without like you don't put any ink in the pen you just dip it into the ink itself um so i decided why not buy this just because you know it's convenient because i don't want to have a jar of ink um i'm afraid i might drop it and spill it in my room especially because i have a lot of stuff that can be messed up easily if i spill it in my room my stuffed animals are a concern so my whole collection is like i need to keep them safe but yeah there was another one that costed a little bit more and it came with like a case and i was like 35 dollars i don't really want to spend that much so yeah so this is what I have, and then I bought a few more inks, so that way I don't have to go back to the store that often. Because, here's the thing, like, I don't like, like, I like buying enough supplies, so that way I don't have to run back to the art store. Just because the art stores aren't really close to where I live, so we kind of have to just, like, drive all the way down there for that, so... In that case, I save trips for my dad too, because he usually, like, 
I don't want to drag him because he's the only one that can drive. I don't want to drag him to go buy art supplies once in a while, like constantly. So it's this sort of thing where I just go and get what I want, get what I need, at least a long supply of art stuff. And yeah, this is non-waterproof. So I guess water spills on it. That could be a problem, but my first time having these. <coughs> and the next thing I bought, um, by the way, they were having a sketchbook sale because it was like a back to school type of time when I went there. So yeah, they have like so many different types of sketchbooks that um, I think they just made so much of and they have so much in bulk so they decided to reduce the price and sell it for cheaper so you could get like a really cheap sketchbook that's good quality um however i don't really draw in sketchbooks normally just because i like to have all my drawing all my drawings in my binder um yeah i'm thinking about buying more binders and just like having them for specific things and stuff like that because I like to categorize my drawings. And the last thing I bought was... I bought six of these calligraphy pens that I use. They're calligraphy marker pens type of... They're like markers, but they're called pens. Yeah. So these are from Tombow. They're Japanese. They are the cheapest calligraphy marker pens that they have. And, you know, they work really well. I love to outline all my drawings in these. That's why I bought a whole bunch so that way I don't, I don't have to go back. Um, there's not really any, like, um, they're kind of like markers in a way, like, there are some markers that, like, especially for expensive markers, art markers, you can um, change out the ink when it runs out. For these, these are, um, you can't do that. I think the markers that I'm using, like touch markers, you can't, like, replace the ink, and neither can you for these. So, basically, I just bought a whole bunch, so that way... I don't have to worry about that but yeah they last quite a while <coughs> but I guess that depends on how much you draw um yeah and that is basically my short art haul there's a like I'm probably gonna make a small video on using these and trying these out but overall in general I don't know how often I'll use them. I totally forgot about them. And I was like, oh, I have them. But then I didn't use it. So <coughs> <coughs> my cold's still getting better. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to probably make a video on testing these out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.